There are some days in uh, the church calendar where the readings give us a great contrast in an image of God. And I think today is one of those where in the first reading from the book of Exodus, we have God revealing himself in a dense cloud to the Israelite people in the book of Exodus, where they get to Mount Sinai and there's this dense cloud that covers it and he speaks, he calls Moses up the mountain and when he speaks to him, it is like thunder. And so it is this great, what we would call a theophany, this huge, this great experience of God that is manifested to the people and really one that's supposed to inspire inspire a couple of things like awe and wonder at the grandiosity of who God is, but also probably a little bit of fear and trembling. Remember that in the desert, God is teaching the people about how their, how their lives should look and how they should approach him, but also about who he is. This isn't a God that is, you know, one amongst many or that is limited in one way or another. This is the God of everything. The God that is powerful over all, who is knowing over all, who is infinite in every way. And then we have Jesus, who is by no means less, but a God who is personal, who reveals himself personally to his people. And what he says to his disciples when they ask about parables, he said, It is blessed are your eyes because you see and your ears because they hear. God is always revealing himself to his people. And yet, it is hard to see him, especially when we have worldly cares and worldly things before our faces, before our eyes, that we're, we cover our ears almost. We don't want to listen to God. But how do we do that better? God has sent his Holy Spirit to dwell within our hearts. It's through the Holy Spirit that Jesus sent that we now have access to God in a, in a new way the God of wonders, the God who is all-powerful, who is like a, a great mountain of smoke. I think the one of the most beautiful things I witnessed when I w got to go to the Holy Land during seminary was the, the beautiful liturgies that were, that were celebrated in the Eastern Orthodox Church, the, the mystery of it all, recognizing God as so much beyond us, yet one that we, who we can still worship, one who we can still come to personally, intimately, just as Jesus was to the disciples and as he is to us now, especially in the sacraments. Let's ask today that that gift of the Holy Spirit within us might be cracked open in a new way, that we might see the grandeur of God, but also see the love that he has for each one of us personally, uniquely, that he wants to come to us in a beautiful, loving way and show us who he is, because that's what God does. He reveals himself to us each and every day of our lives. Let's pray for the eyes to see him and the ears to hear his voice.